Welcome back to Tyranny. Time to talk with companions. You look like you need to talk. What All can right. I do for you? I'd like to know more about you. Okay, unless they actually have any voice dialogue, I'm gonna skip past this because it's, this is like trying to read through a codex. Okay. Scarcross is too chaotic to recognize order. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah, his name. It is a symbol of Kairos's will, one that I am not likely to forget. I found this armor. Perhaps it would be better to say that it found me during the Edict of Storms. What happened during the Edict of Storms is that Stalwart was uh, destroyed. Uh, what happened to Ash's daughter? How did you survive when everyone fell? Looks like pretty solid protection. Do you handle uh, your... Speak of something else. Though we are encouraged to couple and mate within the Legion, I don't consider you one of my cohorts. I think I'll decline. That's not what I... Never mind. Can we move on? You're making me uncomfortable. Though we are encouraged to couple and mate within the Legion, I don't consider you one of my cohorts. I don't know how long you've harbored these thoughts. Suffice it to say, my armor and I will not be separated for the time being. When the war is over, perhaps Tunon will lend me one of his forge bound. Until then, here I remain. My armor saved me from the destruction of Stalwart, where thousands of others lost their lives. So you can see why I continue to wear it. For the time being, we will not be separated. Alright. You look as if you have... What can I do? Suffice it, my armor saved me from the destruction... I'm gonna ask him about sex, that's a point. Talk about something. Stalwart, one of the largest kingdoms. And there's a lot of stuff. There's uh a lot of this is just useless fluff, but there's some interesting stuff in here, like for instance Graven Ash apparently is connected to his troops uh, in some way. Uh, four... Oh god, there's like a fucking codex here, these guys. And uh, the other one is exactly the goddamn same. Now, here, here's my problem. I'm all fine with codexes and all that, but they should be... How should I put it? Codexes, journal entries, and all that kind of stuff. Optional stuff, right? You don't have to deal with them on a typical, on a usual playthrough. You can ignore them on a normal playthrough. I hate it when games try and basically be a book because it really does take me out of the experience. Games should be more like movies. Now, that's not to say you can't have, you know, a lot of the stuff basically in a codex that you can read, but the problem is they mix so much of it in the bloody conversations. You look as if you have... What can I do for you?
It's all a bunch of stuff about the mass factions. I'm just going through it uh, because there is some loyalty to be gained from from all of this. Uh, better that the tearsmen serve Kairos in some capacity than have them rot and massacre Eve. Good. Let's move on. Uh huh. Rendering guard and broken. So I'm broken on from stalwart. Okay. Go on, or... Fatebinder. Uh huh. You look as if you have. What can I do for you? All right, that's about it. I'll talk with Verse later. For now, in the next video, actually, because for now it's just like. No, I'm not doing that because I actually care about the contents of those conversations. They're not really that interesting. That's far enough, Fatebinder. Oh, this should be interesting. In accordance with ancient customs north and south, I offer and request a delay of blade. There are matters we must discuss without fear of reprisal. And in accordance with customs north and south, I abide by this truce. As is our custom, we are ready to kill to defend our lands, but we kill only in fair battle. We don't slay our prisoners. We know this isn't Kairos's way, but we must have hope. Oh, for what? A You're gonna die, you know A few of my kin have that. gone missing, and though they may have perished, I have to inquire on the off chance they still live. If Captain Tarkas Deimos still lives, we would negotiate for his release. Assuming he's our prisoner, what would you offer in exchange? We would offer you five choir men that got lost on patrol. They're healthy. Got other limbs, too. I would not have us barter with oathbreakers. Certainly not for anything less than disfavored lives. You say there's something worth less than a disfavored life. Call me intrigued. I see. That is as I feared, but thank you for telling me all the same. I prefer closure to wishful thinking. Yeah. If I may make one more inquiry. What of Palox Tyrell? Did he survive? He's dead. My apologies, Fatebinder. I had a terrible feeling this errand was in vain from the start. I had no expectations that our friends could be saved, as I'm sure the time for swapping prisoners is long gone. I have... But at least I know of what became of them. That'll have to be enough. I wish to know something. We things. shouldn't be socializing with Oathbreakers. Uh huh. Uh, you might be stupid, but I'm not. I need the I will entertain them as best I can. After all, understanding is the only hope we have. What is it you wish to know? I grew up without my knee bent to Kairos, and if I'm going to bow to someone, let it be another tearsman. We've ruled ourselves just fine for centuries, so we'll give our lives so that our sons and daughters might rule themselves. You make conflict sound like a bad thing. Yes, the younger realm saw frequent battles, but it was never this wholesale slaughter like we've seen of late. No tearsman ever cast an edict on the soil, or forced prisoners to kill each other, or butchered beastmen tribes. Yeah, so? <laughs> Who cares about the beastmen? Only your daughters are really free in the tears. Why fight against Kairos' equality? There's freedom, then there's trusting idiots with power. Give a man a million marauders, he'll lose sleep worrying over his neighbor's thousand. I prefer my realms ruled by the braver sex. For centuries we've left the lands to the women, and the seas to the men. And we did plenty fine until Kairos came around. Oh, is that really so? What makes you think you have a chance? Oh, we don't. Those who believed Kairos could be stopped all died years ago, in the first wave of fighting. It's not about the hope of victory. It's about the hope of inspiring others. It is very likely we will fall here in Vendrian's Well. But perhaps others will arise elsewhere. But the mage like you would not be the subject of such superstition and fear under Kairos's reign. I doubt life is any better sworn to some mad Archon. I'd rather stand with my fellow Tearsmen. Or, I suppose, stand immediately behind them in the event of an attack. Yeah, you heard me. Way things were years back, you'd all be calling me a Water Witch and conspiring to sell me out to the nearest Sage. 
Just because I'm helping you stop Kairos doesn't mean I've forgotten the hospitality of ages past. And people wonder why the Tearsmen could never unite in time to fight back. It's refreshing to see that some things never change. That's some sort of trick question? No, we don't kill prisoners, magic or otherwise. Were there prisoner ops in the that past? That is our way, Binder. Here in the south, only thugs and bandits kill prisoners. The younger realms may be guilty of constant fighting, but we never slay each other when the battle's long over. We're not about to change that now. As a rule, Kairos' forces haven't been keen on swapping prisoners. But I know our disfavored prisoners aren't prisoners anymore. I just assumed they were swapped for some of our own. How did you and your friends overthrow the garrison? I would joke that the voices of Narat left the gate unlatched, but dozens of warriors lost their lives taking the citadel. There was no secret to it. We simply attacked with speed and certainty at a time when the Archons were elsewhere in the tears. The Scarlet Chorus had a rout, and what few disfavored soldiers were present made an impressive showing. But they were surrounded and overwhelmed once the Chorus fled. Listen to you, thinking just like the Overlord wants you to think. There always has to be a person in charge or things don't make sense. <laughs> well, we don't answer to anyone. We are each of us sons and daughters of the Tears, and take this task upon ourselves freely. The Captain Tarkas Ari, former Falksman of Queen Vendry and Alanta, is the voice we trust when we seek unanimity. I assume that Tarkas Ari and Tarkas Deimos are relations. Yes. Deimos is... was... Ari's brother. We were certain he was dead, but... The captain takes family seriously, so I volunteered to find some answers. And now here we are. <laughs> Fair enough. But now a question for you. The Edict. I can feel its magic coursing through the air. Everyone can. But those of us enlightened to the currents of magic feel it most. The wording of the Edict. What was it? If you think I'm gonna tell you that particular aspect, hell no. Such details are for Kairos' warriors only. So you will not say. I expected as much. Can it be worse than endless storms or fire pouring from the earth? Not that you'd answer that either. I have another question for you, if you will entertain it. Are we really standing here and chatting with Oathbreakers? It's hard to watch. Like cuddling a goat you're going to kill for dinner. You should know you're a spy or you serve a spy faction why this is useful. When I was young, my parents told me the tears were special, and the Overlord's edicts and armies could never touch us. It seems I've been told a hefty sum of lies. So answer this honestly for me, please. Is it true that Tunan's fate binders can smell truth from falsehood? Not true. Thanks for that. I could see why you'd want to foster the mystique all the same. The School of Tides would always tell commoners we didn't know how to summon drinkable water. Once they find out, you can't eat in peace. And Kairos's edicts. I have heard the sages speak at length that some of the edicts elsewhere in the world have been broken. How is this? The Overlord has some control over how the edict lingers, but Kairos only knows the exact details. Ah, so some edicts are forever. The rest are, as long as Kairos has in mind? Needless to say, Kairos' magic is unlike anything we've seen in any Archon. And one more mildly self-indulgent question, but I simply must know. Kairos, male or female? How the fuck do you think I know that? Really? You don't know either. You work for the Overlord, but you don't know if she, or he, has an innie or an outie? I think the Overlord just wants to keep people guessing. Seems to work quite well. You may well be correct. I've heard speculation that Kairos is a brother and sister duo, but that sounds like utter rubbish. Find me two siblings that could work together for four centuries, and I've an ocean to sell you. You'll forgive, I hope, the questions. The Overlord and his Archons used to be things of legend, 
Now they're everyday maladies, and I'm eager to separate the truth from the lies I've been told by House and Guild. In accordance to our most ancient customs, let us depart in honorable accord. May peace find you, Fatebinder. She may be useful yet. Let's see. Do what? Well, I've done it before. That was me, all right. What do you need? Fatebinder, I treat my craft like my mother treated her Hagsberry pie. I don't give the recipe to just anyone. Come to think of it, I still don't know what was in that damn pie. That would be an understatement, and I thought you'd never ask. Since you're obviously at a huge exotic. <sighs> you held your own. Call me impressed. Need anything else, or did I tire you out? Yeah, if you insist, I'm a Scarlet Fury. That should raise some flags for you. It means that I'm good at killing, and more importantly, that I enjoy it. What I won't enjoy are the pleasures of funerary rites packed with weeping mourners. Someday I'll fall in battle, and then they'll roll me into a mass grave or heap me atop a shit-stained wagon. One more anonymous, knife-riddled piece of meat. Until then, I plan to take whatever I can from life and have a little fun along the way. The Scarlet Chorus is mostly for madmen and for new recruits shoved to the front lines. Training means surviving the first battle. Anything beyond that is for the fighters who show potential, whether as blade dancers or arcane madmen. There's nothing in the world like getting put through the paces as a Scarlet Fury. Every day is a test of your commitment and passion. Failure means death. The first few weeks were the hardest, but also the most rewarding. I earned my name, picked up some quality weapons, and met my sisters. Alright, I could sit there talking with her quite a bit about all of this, uh, but no more. Scarlet Chorus Camp, remember I only have a limited uh, time frame to actually get this done. I don't think time passes while when you're in a conversation, to be honest. All right. I am the Fate Binder of Tunon. You really don't want to push this, mate.
Sorry, can't. Sorry, can't. Sorry, can't. Time to lighten my step. Alright, the fifth time. I trust you're getting your warriors ready for battle. You have how, how large a force for all these weeks? So you need helping taking, yeah. Hmm. Let's test our loyalty, Varaya. Kill these guardsmen with something blunt.
Uh, sorry to interrupt, uh, but I highly doubt it's gibberish. Uh, more likely, it's one of the local scripts. Uh, I'm Sage Lantry, one of the hired quills that was coordinating missives between the Vendrian guard captains. They aren't paying me anymore and aren't coming to my rescue. So I'll decipher that parchment for you. That's what smart prisoners do, right? Uh, make themselves useful? Uh, well, uh, let me see. Uh, I, I, I can't... Uh, uh, so, uh, I don't know exactly what it says, but I'm half certain that's Sage Selwyn's handwriting. I'm sure I could decipher that in a few hours' time. Uh, don't need my hands free, but uh, I think better when not tied to a post. <laughs> I know, I, I'm weird that way. You know, the voices of Narat will be upset to know you squander their sorts of enemy intelligence. Fatebinder, I beseech you, be my advocate for this trial. I'm no fool, I know the chorus uses blood, not words, to settle these matters. But you are a servant of the Archon of Justice, are you not? Alright then. Good. I like it when Tunon's puppies get their paws dirty. I wouldn't mind taking a swing at some loudmouth chorus braggarts myself. All right, this is going to be a real fight. me if you can Well, that was annoying. That's because you were dealing with quite a few enemies and... You know... Wait, damn it. Quick items, right? I got it. Yeah.
Uh, uh, I'm Sage. Uh, well, uh, Fate Binder. I, Good. I wouldn't. I will end up I'm on it. Well, this is all very goddamn annoying. He has too much fucking aggro. And so they target him over anyone else. Need to think of a way to actually win this goddamn fight. Uh, I I'm saying, uh, Fate Binder. Good. Uh if this doesn't work, I'll just shove my authority out there and force them to accept this.
bad ones. problem, boss. I'd have it no other way. That was fun, your warriors almost put up a good fight. <laughs> And your little quill dagger just for decoration. Swear fealty to me and I'll let you live leave this place with me.
Right. Well, I'm going to pause this right now. Christine signing out. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. So we got the new traveling companion. More dialogue. Lovely.